Hi again, Harrison Solomon from Hook Splint. As you know already, relative motion orthosis is for much more than just an extensor tendon repair protocol. We use it now for, among other things, PIP flexion contractures and boutonniere deformities, which are treated relatively the same way with keeping that finger in relative flexion. Today we'll talk a little bit on how and why that works. So if you have a PIP contracture from trauma or you have a PIP contracture from a boutonniere deformity, your hook splint can be used keeping the finger in relative flexion. So how does that work? Well, for the PIP flexion contracture, it works back with the quadriga effect. So the tension on my middle finger here, since it's relatively flexed, the tension through the extensor is going to be more than through the adjacent extensors. That's going to force this PIP joint into more extension before the others for regular motion of the hand. Similarly, for boutonniere deformity, it will keep, it will pull on the lateral bands, keeping them dorsal to the center of rotation and thereby, again, forcing that middle finger into extension and facilitating healing of your boutonniere deformity.